Leading for is a campaign to drop the luxury tax on sanitary products for women and also to push our university to provide female students and workers with free sanitary pads. You know, when we started out in 2016, I would have conversations with people and they would be like, oh, but why is this an issue? We're an activism group and that means getting people actively involved in decision making that affects their lives. So we have panel discussions, we have talks, we've had art displays just to get the conversation started. We ask people to donate so that we can make sure that nobody really has to go without time. And by this point I can have a conversation with almost anyone on campus and they're well clued up on what's happening. The more that we educate people about it and the more that people continue pushing for changes, the more politicians have been forced to have to speak about it. And I know that's because of the effort of not just Worth Bleeding For, but of other organizations and other campaigns also. I think that we're all activists a little bit, but quite often we don't think of ourselves as activists. We all have things that we're passionate about. Being a part of an organization and being a part of a group of individuals who are like-minded can help you to shape your sort of activism and to bring your projects to life. <laughs>